Well, I'm in the garden realm and I thought I'll make a little video. You can probably hear the wind in the background. There's me cue bomb. I put the batteries in it. Oh, I've just bumped my head. I put the batteries in it and uh, I put my head on Janet's bird thing here. There it is, hanging in the garden realm. There we are. Anyhow, I've got a couple of blue spools here. And I think we're going to have some fun on this course. You know, that's me indie blues ball, that one, that one, that one. That is actually a one that was made between three of us, myself, Chris and Barry Teague. Barry Teague's going to be on the course as well, so you will meet them. There's a three quarter down there in pieces, which I'll just talk about in a minute. And these are the baby blues ball. This is the smallest one. 600 mil between centres, you can make this one. And uh, it's made out of ash, finished in the, the oak chestnut stain and the metallics so little button in the middle there as well oh little jack plug socket there and i've got the cordless um connectors for the amp anyhow we'll have a little bit play and i'll talk about the different types of blues ball that we're going to be making well we're going to talk about the different types of balls the different sizes the sizes between centers how we make them ideas for holding different ways of the strings and whatever there's some machine heads in a sliding pick ball different boxes we can make for the jack plug socket different ways of holding the strings that's a fork in there on the baby blues ball and other oh, baby baby blues ball clearly there's the original one there's the original blues ball that was made in 2016 that was my first one inspired by the c6 steve three string cigar box guitar that we saw on Jules Holland on the New Year's Eve. The wine box there and that's the same as what you're going to make. That is, well that's the same as what I'm going to make. You can make whatever you like. You can make the whatever design. It's down to your imagination but the basis of making them they're all very very similar and we will talk through the different methods in the construction. So on the side over here this is the one is similar to what we're going to be making. This is the loose ball and this has got it's got a it's just a plain ball on the back there it's just a plain tulip wood ball and a sapili neck. Fret markers are marked in with the just burned in into position and this one's got the phosphor bronze strings that's these strings here which are the rotor sound phosphor bronze those there and they sound quite sweet. Uh, I'll just put them back onto there. And there we go. That's the acoustic sound on that one. GDG. That one's in. I'll just put this one over here. So there we go. That's going to be the one. See what that will be what I'll be making if you want to make one like that. But if you want to make a different design or a different size, you can. For example, this is the 750mm. That's the neck of the 750mm. Some of them we split turn, some of them we turn, we play them down. I'm going to go through the different methods of making the neck. And I'm going to also talk about the method of making the neck off the lathe, so that if you don't have a lathe that's long enough for a full size neck, you can still make the blues ball on the lathe, but you can actually make the neck off the lathe. That's got an oak fretboard. This one will have real frets in it, similar to that three quarter one there. There's the three quarter one there on the wine box guitar and that was a wine box given to me by a very very good friend of mine Kath down in Oxford who I used to stay with when I demonstrated at the till post so there's the ball for this three quarter one sapili it's still got the chopper point on hasn't been sanded yet it's going to be used as part of the examples in the course the blue peter bits and pieces and there we are there's your three quarter one there this is the one that I've just finished over here, this little baby blues ball. A baby blues ball clearly, that's that one there. Uh, actually, I've got a cube amp over there, so I'll just switch the cube amp on for that one. Um, it's a battery powered amp for this one. You'll be able to hear the wind in the background because it's a really windy day here up in Weirdale. And um, there's my little blues ball clearly. This little beauty is made from ash. So the materials, I suggested tulip wood and I suggested sapili, but ash, oak, sycamore, yew, cherry, 
any of the fruit woods as long as it's dry. If the ball plant isn't quite dry and it moves a little bit, it's not that big a problem because it's just, it's, you know, it, doesn't, it just adds to it. And if it knows, well, then there's probably only you knows about it in any case. And, but the neck really needs to be dry because if the neck moves, then it'll twist or then it'll go out of tune. So you want a nice dry piece of wood, good moisture scrub, and down to at least 12% for the neck. So there's the, um, that's the acoustic sound. I've got a little wireless amp here and uh, saves the cable so which are ideal again from Amazon I'm going to talk through the different places you can buy the materials you can buy the component parts and what have you This one is my two favourite blues balls at the moment. They are a collaboration between Chris and Barry Teague and myself. Barry was my very first student to come on a course. He's actually made the straps as well, the leather straps, beautiful they are. And he came on a course with me and back in 2016 and he's made in excess of 30 blues balls I would imagine some real beauties he has them on display when we do the stands and that at, at Harrogate and at um, Newark Jack Flug sucking into there I'll just take the tuner off here again I'm going to talk you through the different tunings this one is in GDG but we do have them in DAD and B and sorry DAE I'll tune it up on here It'll not be far away, I don't think. It's not at all, it's hardly moved. So that's a sign of good craftsmanship. That's it. Hard to see, you know, with it being bright sunlight, but I can see the little green light coming on. Now, got it? G, D, G. So there's the acoustic. to actually catch on to the we have been bluetooth it has to bluetooth together so the manufacture, the assembly, different ideas for designs and over the course of the, the three sessions you will be able to make a blues ball alongside me. Uh, each session will have two weeks in between and you've got access to the recording for those two weeks to be able to make your own blues ball and then after we've done the three sessions we're going to get together and we're going to have a a play session whereby I'll take you through all of the chords and what well, these three basic chords because most of the songs only have the three chords different tunings and after that I'm hoping that we'll get together and form a blues band group and then we can meet up 
every now and again and have a jamming session and just have some fun. So I'm looking forward to seeing you on the course and um, any questions, get them ready to go into the chat box. We'll have Carl in the chat box with us, we'll have Janet with us, who's also hosting as well and helping me, passing me on the materials and everything like that. So it's gonna be good, I'm looking forward to it. Okay, we shall see you when we see you, bye for now.